What up yo, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button because we're giving away a pair of sneakers at the end of this video. Also, I'll be announcing the winner of this Shoporic shirt from Shoporic.com. Please stay tuned and enjoy the video. Today, we are headed to the Hypest Vintage Streetwear Store here in the Philippines. Vintage bulk, let's go! We're now here in Makati with Gio, owner of Vintage Bulk. How all of this started and what inspires you? Uh, first, ano lang to, uh, parang trip lang namin na kapatid ko. Parang we don't have enough money, then we will buy clothes to use. And then eventually, parang para malibre lang yung binibili namin, what we, what we do is we, we buy stuff and then sell it to our titos and titas lang. Then eventually, I started selling Doon lang, kasi I'm from Bicol. I, I was selling stuff sa Bicol and then eventually moved to, to Manila. Then, when I was in Manila, I was a call center agent for two years. Then here, one year doon sa the Gaspi. Then, when I was here, I buy stuff to use lang. Parang, that was SB, SB days, SB era. Then, yun, parang bumibili lang ako for personal use to use sa, sa, sa office and then eventually nung napagod na ako magtrabaho parang shit ayoko na medyo frequent na yung migraine then yun I started selling parang trip lang parang try lang sabi ko give or take one to two months to three actually pag di nag work I can always go back kasi I have three years experience eh. then yun din ako din ako bumalik then we started, actually we started a store sa show named Uncommon. I was with four friends then. Until now, nagpupush pa rin naman lahat. So, masaya naman yun. Then, Antonio offered, Antonio Aguirre offered uh, a spot in Seoul Slam. Tapos yun, uh, one year then kami sa Alabang Town Center. And then eventually, ito na, started August 4. How long have you been selling vintage clothes? Vintage clothes, two to three years, probably. Pero kasi, before vintage was not that hype, okay lang siya kasi parang kakaiba. And then may history in them. So Gio, do you have your supplier or your plug? No. What I do is, I buy stuff from thrift. I buy stuff from people from the thrift community. Kasi if we have like, street culture, street community, we have this so-called thrift community then. Mm -hmm. So what we do is like, I buy stuff from them, we all gain money. So we do it for the community and then the community loves it. What's the price range of your clothes and how much was the most expensive shirt that you've sold? Price range of uh, 1000 above pero all negotiable as as people come here always give deals and discounts and also fair lang then most expensive probably the mastermind bomber jacket yun siguro 20 how much? 20,000. 20,000? Mm -hmm. 
Then the Supreme Box logo I sold two years ago for 2,000 pesos. Brand new. <laughs> the tags. <laughs> In. <laughs> Would you say that you have the biggest vintage store here in the Philippines? Uh, no. Actually, no. We have several stores here in the Philippines that caters vintage, uh, vintage wear, streetwear, street culture. So, no, actually. How about the highest vintage store here in the Philippines? Still no, because uh, a lot of uh, stores have been doing their thing. Um, shout out to Season Pass, uh, Cap Garden, Diamond Sneaks, Shoe Game Manila, what else? Soul Slam, and then uh, Sneaker Bunk, uh, Kicks to Go. So every store has its own like uh, way of promoting their store. So I'm very thankful that a lot of people have been so supporting uh, Vintage Bolts, uh, especially you guys. Uh, a lot of people have been coming here uh, promoting the the store so with the with the support that you guys are giving uh, to the stores all of us are going to uh, to uh, pop up especially next year or this coming years do you have any tips for those who are starting in the streetwear culture um, number one know the roots second is be passionate of everything Lastly, uh, just wear what you want. Be comfortable with everything. Like, uh, it's. I mean, it doesn't need to be that expensive. It doesn't need to be that hype. As long as you know, you know the value of of you as a person. We we, we can't judge a person like everybody like who wears fake or who wears the real ones because, I mean, uh, we are not. We are not equal. Like some have the the capability to buy stuff, like legit stuff. Some doesn't have, but they want to be in the street culture. So just wear what you want. How about you? Just wear what what you want and visit there in Vintage Bolt in Makati. Yo, had a great time chit-chatting with Gio and I was able to cop this three shirt, one Carhartt shirt, another uh, vape tee, and then another champion shirt. It was very affordable. If you want to visit Vintage Vault, I'll be linking the location down below. And also, right now, I'll be announcing the winner of this shoe pork shirt. 
So uh, hit me a DM on Instagram so we can arrange on how you'll be able to claim this shirt. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do subscribe because we're giving away three crap protector kit. Also, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, I'll be announcing the winner of the Nike Cortez Forest Gump. I hope you enjoyed the video. Till next time, peace.